than the top music markets in African countries in terms of music productions are Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Morocco, Algeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, Angola, United Republic of Tanzania and Senegal based on local and international statistics. And there is a city called, maybe some of you might have heard, Brazzaville. Brazzaville, the UNESCO city of music in Kenya, where every two years musicians and audience gather at world-renowned Pan-African Music Festival. Uh, then in the international scene, I would like to mention some of the very famous African musicians, such as Yusu Ndur, I hope I spelled the name correct, from Senegal. Then the late Zenzile Miriam Mikiba, with the nickname Mama Africa from South Africa. I think Pak Kunjaya, you for, you, for sure you know the song that she used to sing when late in the early 70s. That's how it was very popular. <laughs> and then Yemi Alade, a singer, songwriter, actress, and activist from Nigeria. Then Sonia Jobarte, a multi instrumentalist from Gambia. Then Angeli Kijo, she is the current famous one, of course. Singer, songwriter, and activist from Benin such as Germany and Switzerland integrates African dance styles in their schools. Some traditional dances are, uh, I hope that I spelled it the way, correctly, Agbadza dance of the Iwi people of Ghana, then Adumu dance of the Maasai people of Kenya, Inlamu, a South African Zulu war dance, then Lamban, cryotic African dance of Mali, Mori Bayasa dance from the Malinke people in Guinea. So the revenue, the revenue based on our research here in our campus, the revenue based on music segment is around US dollar 25 million in 2022. Collaborating with Ghana interesting across the world. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 is, it is informative to know that uh, music is actually bringing a lot of unity across the world and yes. also raising a lot of revenues which can be used to help alleviate poverty in most countries. Because most most of these musicians do a lot of philanthropic deeds across the world. Yes. Yes. Okay. So is there any question someone or anybody would like to ask? So if not, I'll continue with Indonesia. Is mm. there a possibility, a chances where there could be an interaction? Because we have to start somewhere. Indonesia, as a matter of fact, is the center of Asia-African partnership, right? So, and there's a kind of uh, cultural similarity between Indonesia and most of the African, all the African countries. There's a lot of things we share together. For instance, Batik. Mm -hmm. Batik culture, and even though that the uh, the rhythm of the music might be different, but some classical music or cultural Indonesian music expresses a kind of uh, a feeling that certain uh, African game resource also expresses. Okay, before I answer your question, I would like to first address the issues in Indonesia, so then we all have uh, the same kind of a perception here, in order to talk about the plan to organize the possibility, not only possibility, what I mean to actually organize the collaboration between countries. But Africa, the young students or musicians, with our musicians, with our music students. So now about Indonesia, performing arts industries and artists and online music schools. So there are currently in our country 10 campus in Indonesia that offers bachelor, master, and doctorate degree in performing arts, which is music, dance, and drama. For example, Art Institute in Yogyakarta on Java Island, Art Institute in Bali, Jakarta Art Institute 
Indonesia Art Institute Padang Panjang and especially I would like to mention here the Musical Arts Academy in Bandung where the first Asian African conference was held West Java and then now I would like to address first before we talk about the possibility of the collaboration the pros and the contrast of social media because the topic is social media so now the pros why is social media good that is because we stay connected we have quick access banking and bill pay at our fingertips then online learning job skills content discovery such as youtube involvement in civic engagement such as fundraising social awareness and provides a voice and then great marketing tools of course so opportunities for remote employment and the contra so why social media is bad so along with the goods of course there comes the bad the contra is online versus reality increase the usage and then fear about missing out which is the abbreviation abbreviation is known as FOMO well it has become a common theme because a lot of young people they feel like they're missing out something if they are not online or scrolling all the time you know on the uh, Instagram or TikTok for instance or self-image issues so what is called a selfie holics the selfie selfie and selfie that's all becoming a problem and uh, I mean a psychological problem and they are losing the con the connection to the reality the real life and then the bullying, the social media bullying, every seven minutes, according to the stopbullying.org, International Institution of Statistics, every seven minutes a child is bullied. Unfortunately, intervention is rare, which an adult intervening in only 4% of cases and appear in 11%. An astonishing 85% of all cases of bullying are not addressed. And I could go on and on and on with all these negative sides of social media, which everyone I think know. The sleepless night, the blue light from the screens that can cause the, uh, the reduction of the melatonin that facilitates the sleep. Then uh, social media suicide, not to mention the sexual uh, sex trafficking, children sex trafficking and, and abuse and all and on, on and on and the list of the bad side of the social media. This is something that we really have to um, address and then we have to really pay attention, a lot of attention to this issue. We communicate with text messaging or we send emails and that is why I think it is also very important to know about the problems that we are facing and of course the spread of misinformation and the falsehood so deep fake rules and then uh, the hoax and I would like to also address to the Indonesian young people who are attending here if you have time sometimes please read the writing of Dr. Muhammad Zulvika Rahmat an Indonesian researcher at the University of Manchester so he wrote about the dark side of Indonesia's social media boom such as fake news defamation hoaxes point to the urgent need for social media literacy training in Indonesia so I could go on and on with uh, with uh, my list here but now I come to the question of mr. Eugene now we have to think about the uh, the platform and how we can start with the collaboration in order to let's say then if we have a student exchange or a musician that sometimes the Indonesian musicians would come to your country and play for it, or perform or teach there and in exchange your musician comes to our country and the students come to our country and this would be very 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 important to let's say to start or even to maintain the relationship between the countries so now I would like to ask your idea how we can implement this collaboration okay. because I, because I have the idea but I first I would like to hear from from the from the African side okay uh, 
can I speak now a little bit? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you so much to uh, Devi, right? I can say that properly. Uh, my name is Deviana. Deviana. Yes. yes. Usually, Indonesia will use a, a, a short one. Devi, Devi. No, no. <laughs> Uh, my name should not be shortened. It's full name <laughs> Deviana. Yeah. It's with V, not with W. It's with V, Deviana. All right. Okay. So um, the uh, actually, uh, I asked uh, this question because um, I also have some friends that are musicians, mm -hmm. and uh, a professor in in your kind of music, jazz, is. Uh, is for example is um, a Nigerian American. Uh, is, he has a dual um, nationality. And I'm happy that I have been invited to be one of the keynote speakers. Thank you very much, Dr. Kumson and the Dr. Kunjaya and everyone here. Have a nice day, and then I hope to talk to talking to you. I look forward talking to you soon, Dr. Kumson. And then Mr. Dr. Kunjaya. Yeah. And thank, you. thank you very much. Have a nice thank day. You.